Hi, it's Cheryl from That's What She Said, and today I'm going to talk about using the Print Then Cut feature in Cricut Design Space. Specifically, this video is about using um, images that are JPEGs or PNGs, and how you upload those, and how you clean them up, and how we print and cut them. So, let's get started. First, we need to upload our images. And I'm going to start with a JPEG, and then I'm going to show you a PNG. They're just slightly different, but I want to show you the differences between them. So we're going to click Upload Image, and we're going to find a JPEG. And for example, I'm going to use my Principal Valentines, Unicorn Valentines. They're pretty popular, and like no parent wants to cut 30 of these, so let's let the Cricut do the work for us. Um, whenever I have many colors um, and little details, I do like to choose complex. I, I mean, as a rule of thumb, I actually probably choose complex almost all the time, 95% of the time. Um, so do that, and I'm going to click continue, and it takes us to the select and erase screen. And what we're going to do here is we're going to erase all the parts of the, the um, JPEG image that we don't need. That so we're telling the Cricut what we want it to cut around. So I've removed the outside area and I've removed all the little holes where the sucker, um, the unicorn sucker, gets slid in for the unicorn horn. Um, and just for example here, like if I were wanted to get rid of the hearts, I would just click on it and see how it disappears and you can see the checker through the background. But that's not what I want to do, so I'm going to put that back for right now. Okay, and then I'm going to click continue. And this right here will show you exactly where the Cricut's going to cut. So you just want to double check. If you happen to have missed one of these little circles, just click the back button here, go back, take care of it, and then click forward again. So this looks perfect. I'm going to save it as a print then cut image because that's exactly what I'm doing today. But before I do so, I am going to give it some tags so that if I want to find it again, um, I can easily. I don't have to do all this work again. So click Save, and then Cricut Design Space is going to upload that for us into our Uploaded Images area, and we're going to select it, and then we're going to insert that image into our canvas. This will take just a minute. And now the maximum area that you can use for print and cut is 6.75 inches in width by 9.25 inches in height. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it 9.25 right now. Um, maybe I'm going to do that. And now this shows me I'm at 6.651, which is under the 6.75, so I'm good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Make It. And let me just note really quick, let me just show you over here in the Layers panel, instead of having all the different layers to cut like we normally do, it says Cut and Print, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're going to click Make It. And this is going to show us what it's going to look like on our mat. So our home computer is going to print this page right here. I print on white cardstock for us. It's going to print this page, and then we're going to put it on our mat exactly like it shows here. So that all looks good. Oh, sorry, let me note this black border. That is how the Cricut sensor will read it and know where to cut when we upload the mat into the machine. So that black border is normal and you need that. So don't be alarmed when it pr prints with a black border. So I'm going to click continue and I'm using my maker today. This also works on an explore. You do not need a maker to do this. Print and cut works on all of the um, explore and above machines. And then here we're going to click send to printer. And what this is going to do right here, we can choose the printer, your own home printer, how many copies you need, and then you go ahead and click print. Okay, so that printed on our home computer, and then I added that to a blue mat, just like I would if I line up vinyl. I line it up in the upper left-hand corner, and now I'm going to select my material, which is just cardstock. And now I'm going to go move forward cutting as if I would if I was cutting regular cardstock, nothing different. And what's going to happen is the Cricut's going to um, sense the lines first and then it's going to go cut.
So how awesome was that? That is how you use the print then cut for a JPEG image. So now let me show you the difference. I'm going to erase that and I'm going to upload a PNG file. So I'm going to upload this school bus. I made this clip art. And let's say you want to make some stickers, planner stickers for back to school. So again, I'm just going to choose complex and click continue. Click con Did you see here? Oh, let me back up. Did you see here? I should have noted that. So before we uploaded our image and we had the white background, here we have the checkerboard. So PNGs come with a transparent background. So it's already done that cleaning up step for you. That's the only difference between a PNG and a JPEG. So here I'm going to choose complex like I did before. Click continue. That looks great. I'm going to add bus school. And I'm going to save it. And again, here it is. I'm going to click it and insert it onto my canvas. And now since I'm using these for stickers, I'm going to resize it um, much smaller. Now obviously I'm not going to print a whole sheet of sticker paper for um, one sticker, right? So normally you want to get as many as you can on. And the way that I do that, my trick for that is I, oh, sorry, wrong one. I click shapes and I make a square. And then I'm going to resize the square to the area of our print then cut. And to do that, I'm going to click this little lock down here to unlock it. You can also click the lock in between the, the width and the height. And I'm going to move my height to the 9.25 inches and the width to the 6.75 inches. And so that's going to give me, well, that didn't want to work, did it? There we go. So that's going to give me my area that I can use, that I can fill. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this to a light color. How about we'll just use this um, peachy orange right now. The reason I do this and I don't choose white is because a lot of PNG files um, actually can have white borders around them. And so if you place the design on top of a white rectangle, it's hard to see where the borders are and you might accidentally get cut lines overlapped. So here if you just make it a color, um, then I'm going to arrange that and I'm going to send it to the back. So now we have that in the very back and I can add all my stickers. So I can fill this entire area up with what I want to do. So let's add a few more. Let me show you. Same thing we just did. I'm just going to do it pretty quickly. Here's a book. Complex. Continue. Continue. Some tags. I'm going to save it. Look, let's upload a few more. Same thing. Let's do some crayons. Continue, continue. Insert. Resize them, etc. So we can also come in here and we can duplicate. You know, line these up, we need bus times for different kids, etc. So what you can do is you can fill this sheet with um, PNG drawings. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to select all of them. Let's say I have my whole, I mean, for example here, you know what I'll do here. Let's show you this. I'll move one down here and I'll move one over here, I like to show the whole four corners here. So I'm going to select all of my designs, not the rectangle, omit the rectangle, um, and then I am going to attach those. And before I do my cut and print, I'm going to delete the rectangle. So now when I go over here, as you can see, it kept those in the correct spots because I selected them and attached them together. So that's the main thing to remember when you're doing multiple on a sheet like that is to attach them. Um, otherwise, as you know, um, Design Space tries to um, order them themselves and that's not exactly what we want. And so same as before, 
we continue from here. Oh, it looks like one of my little guys didn't make it on. Hold on. Let's go back. Yes, I'm going to cancel. Let me show you. I must have I must have not had him selected when I attached. Okay, there we go. I missed that one. Out. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that shows you how. You know, we use that rectangle just as an example, and if we attach them, they stay in the same correct spot. So that's what we need to know. We have one map. That's great. We're going to continue, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're going to select our maker, or select our machine. Sorry, I'm using my maker. Um, we're going to send it to the printer. I've actually already printed, and then we're going to do um, select our cardstock, and then we're going to load the mat. We just take the piece that we printed, put it on our mat, load our mat, and cut it as we would a regular piece of cardstock. So there's the differences between the JPEG and the PNG. The JPEG, you just have to clean up a little bit more, clean up the background for it, and the PNGs normally are pretty clean when you get them. So that is it for how to use um, the Print Then Cut with an image.